Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So this is my my last review for Tales of the Walking Dead until we get some more, obviously more clarification on some other stuff, like in terms of there being a season two, which I probably won't do a, a video on there being a season two, unless there's a bigger update, like they say stuff like, yeah, you know, we should probably do this more or this and that kind of thing. Other than that, I'll probably just wait for the next trailer or teaser trailer to drop for Tales, which probably won't happen until next summer. So yeah, this is my last video for Tales of the Walking Dead for quite a while. And honestly, I'm totally okay with that because I would say this series overall was pretty underwhelming. Now, I think episodes five and six for me personally definitely picked the series up a little bit. You know, I thought episode four was definitely, I think, the worst. And I'll do a ranking of the episodes near the end of this video, but I thought four was definitely the worst. And I think the weaker part of Tales of the Walking Dead overall was sort of, you know, the first four episodes. Because there was already a negative reaction to Tales of the Walking Dead after episode two. Three sort of picked it up a little bit, but like, I mean, you're still sort of worried about it. And then four, it just drops so hard. Like, honestly, I don't understand why certain episodes were made here. Like, especially episode four, the nature documentary. I get it. You want to do stuff that's weird, this and that. But like, you know how people feel about those philosophical debates. It's been a thing with The Walking Dead for years that those type of episodes just aren't fun like they're just boring to watch maybe if you want to make it a little more interesting you can make some more connections here to to the walking dead in terms of you know maybe having that doctor connected to the civic republic or crm but no there was nothing like that and i think that's sort of i think that's my overall feeling here with tales of the walking dead is that it sort of feels pointless you know it sort of overall just feels like the series didn't really need to come out and i get it i understand that this is supposed to be an anthology based series I understand, like, whenever I say that, people are like, oh, I guess you don't know what anthology-based series means. No, I know what that means. Like, I, I get it. At least with this series, I, I really believe there should have been way more connections to The Walking Dead. And really looking back at all six episodes, what connections did we get? Only one. Alpha. That was literally it. Yeah, sure, we saw Atlanta, but does that really matter? Like, does it really matter that we saw Atlanta? I mean, that episode literally is not canon. Out of all six episodes, I think that episodes three, five, and six were my absolute favorite. Uh, one, two, and four, I think needs so much more. And that's what I mean. I, like, that's what my frustration is here with Tales of the Walking Dead is like, there's such easy connections you can make here to the entire series. Like you can make really, really easy connections here to, to the Walking Dead that they just sort of avoided. Like, and, and it's really unnecessary. None of it made any sense. Like, I don't understand when you're writing these episodes and you have the scripts for all six episodes in front of you, or you're sort of looking at the plot lines here and what's being delivered to the fan base. I would just look at it and be like, is that strong enough? Are fans going to really like this? You know, if you're looking at all six episodes, you might say, well, maybe five and six are a little bit better, or at least they're pretty decent. I think people should like that. Three is alpha, so people will definitely like that. In episode two, you know, maybe they were really hoping that people were going to like the fact that we saw Atlanta. But again, like if you're doing the time loop stuff, it's just going to piss people off. Like we need a lot more than that. And then like, again, I just don't know. Like I would sprinkle in so much more connections if I was in, in charge of this thing. Like why wasn't Terry Crews' character Joe connected to Tyrese, right? Everything was there. Tyrese had a neighbor named, I think his name was Jerry, who had a bunker and was like preparing for this doomsday and all that. And then I can't remember the, whole, the rest of the story. But that was such an easy connection here, especially when you hear that Terry Crews' favorite character is Tyrese. It's like, wow, it's it's literally right there. You can just, it's so easy to make that connection. And this way, that episode is kind of cool. And when you rewatch The Walking Dead and you hear Tyrese sort of talk about his neighbor, we got that episode. Like, we can actually go and watch and see what that story was. And maybe we even see Tyrese in the episode. Like, why not? Why couldn't you do that? I just, I don't understand that. We also see Terminus. Which is like, it's not Terminus, first of all. It, we see Terminus. It literally is the location. But it's not Terminus because it's... Well, they're telling us it's not Terminus. They just reuse the location to film. Which I just find extremely lazy. Like, that, that, you shouldn't have done that. That shouldn't have been a thing. Just, like, you have to stop with that. If you're doing a season two, you really cannot do that. Because us fans are going to find all that stuff. Like, we watch these episodes. We love this universe so much. When there's little things like that that happen, we, we like we nitpick at everything. Like we're gonna find it, right? Also, why wasn't there a closer connection to the CDC in episode two? Maybe that wasn't the overall point of the story, and that's fine. But also, like maybe we see the CDC. Maybe they drive by the CDC or something like that. Or I don't know. Like I think there's a lot more that you could have done here. And like, why do the time loop? Like you know, 
that that's gonna again that's sort of the vibe here with tales of the walking dead in general is that they just got too weird with everything they wanted to break boundaries they really wanted to cross a lot of lines here to to really just sort of open the doors to what they can do and to get the fans familiar with what they can do i just think that you just did way too much way too much in episode two definitely really proved that because it's obviously not canon and you can't include that as being canon and people really care about that otherwise what's the point in watching also why do the nature documentary okay maybe it's an interesting idea fine but maybe actually have it matter then maybe have that documentary matter to the overall story here honestly it's kind of hilarious, but the webisodes, I think, do a better job than Tales of the Walking Dead, because those webisodes of The Walking Dead actually explain these, like, many stories that are sort of happening around, like, either Fear the Walking Dead or The Walking Dead, like you would get The Walking Dead Red Machete or, or other things. That would explain events surrounding, you know, a certain instance that would happen on The Walking Dead or on Fear, which was super fun. Those episodes were honestly really fun, and the fans love them, and Tales of the Walking Dead could even get that right. Like, I guess that's probably my review, overall review here, I would say, is honestly, the webisodes were much better than Tales of the Walking Dead. But like I was saying about the nature documentary, you know, you could have made this boring episode a little more exciting by maybe connecting the Doctor to the Civic Republic or CRM. And also, not even that, like, we heard that there was going to be one episode that was 35 years in the future, and we literally got no clarification on that. Like, maybe it was episode 5, because that episode was a little weird, but again, there was no confirmation in that, or for that, in the episode. Maybe Channing Powell just misspoke, like, that. that's that's possible, because she did say, don't quote me on that, on that. But, like, 35 years into the future is is a huge time jump, so, like, if it's not 35 years, what is it, like, 25 or 30 years? Like, there's no way you're getting 35 years mixed up with just, say, like, 10 years into the apocalypse, because that's, like, and that's what I mean. There's some potential here with Tales of the Walking Dead, and I think I think episodes three, five, and six shows that there's there's actual potential here with the show, and I think most of us could probably agree with that. When you watch the show, you can see the potential here. It's just you can't be doing this weird stuff with it because people aren't fans of it. And now Tales of the Walking Dead has like this negative vibe about it, and now you have to kind of if you want to do a season two, now you have to repair it. Like there was no reason to be in this situation with this with this series, honestly. You can do the weird episodes sometimes, that's fine, but I think there's a line that you just can't cross. Because otherwise you get into that territory where only a small amount of fans are, are only going to care. And then it's just, you know, first of all, there's already this belief that most of the Walking Dead spinoffs aren't really the greatest, right? So you want to make sure that everything you're putting out is solid. And I just think that, well, I will say Tales of the Walking Dead is definitely better than World Beyond. I can say that now after watching the whole series. I was a little unsure after episode four, but having watched the entire series now, I can actually say for sure now that Tales of the Walking Dead is definitely better than, than uh, The Walking Dead World Beyond, but yeah, again, th there was just so much more that you could have done here with this. And so, was this show worth watching? I don't really like to give number ratings, I know sometimes I will, which I hate that I do, sometimes I just kind of do it, but I hate it because some people are going to say, like, well, you rated this one 7 or 8 out of 10, but this one you rated like a 9, so, like, I, I just honestly hate the criticism of that, because I'm just sort of going based off of how I feel, and that's sort of how... I do my reviews in general. It's just like, is it worth watching? And so, you know, is this worth watching? Would I recommend it? It's, um, I mean, I guess I would, but honestly, I think a, a binging experience would be a lot better. Like, just binge watch this show. I think, honestly, it would probably make this, this entire show so much better. I think waiting week to week for this show was a really bad idea, because it, it's just, you know, first of all, I'm not a fan of binge watching, because I do think overall you're rushing through everything. Like, I literally just finished Cobra Kai the other day, and I was waiting so long for it, and now it's over. And honestly, it really does suck. I, I think the thing about binge watching is it does sort of hide a lot of the, the writing screw ups or, or little things here and there that, you know, might not make too much sense because you're going through the content so fast and there's no commercials. And I think when you wait week to week, there's sort of a higher expectation for, for what the show should be that when you watch it, you're going to be much more critical, which is, you know, I think that's the thing about The Walking Dead, which I find amazing, is that every episode is a lot of fun. I haven't watched the last couple of, of seasons in a very long time, like binge watched it, but I really wonder how it would hold up. I honestly really wonder how it would hold up to binge watch all The Walking Dead. But like I said, there's likely going to be a season two here. And so, you know, if they're going to do that, like, they have to improve this, like, dramatically. They really do. Because, like I said, the show already ha is disliked by a lot of fans just for how weird it got and how pointless it feels. 
And honestly, it sucks because I see the potential there. And I think a lot of us see the potential here. We saw that with the Elf episode and, and maybe the Haunting episode and, and the Devon episode. I thought those episodes were really great. It's just that it got too weird and it, and it feels too pointless. And honestly, if I were to sum up my criticisms for Tales of the Walking Dead, that's exactly what it would be. It got too weird and it really feels extremely pointless. And I think that's those are those are easy things to fix. Honestly, those are such easy things to fix. But are they going to for for season two? Do they not see that as criticisms and do they just want to keep doing things their own way? Like I don't know. People are going to stop watching. It's, it's really that, that simple. Like people are just going to stop watching it. Like you want to you want to do what the fans want. Like it's sort of isn't that the point of, of doing this? Right. Like isn't that the point of, of, of making content like this in general is you want fans to like it. I just kind of feel like Tales the Walking Dead got away from that a little bit. I, I feel like the show just more focused on what th they can do writing wise and they just really focused on the power of their writing and they were just like you know we're gonna do anything we want here and i don't care who doesn't like it to us this is gonna be so much fun right because that's kind of how it felt especially the, the alpha or the alpha but the atlanta episode i just really felt like we're just gonna do these crazy things here and so like i said i was gonna get into my ranking here of, of all six episodes my worst episode so starting from number six was definitely episode four i, th I thought the nature documentary episode was really boring really not needed I don't think we need to see another philosophical debate on, uh, on Tales of the Walking Dead or any Walking Dead universe for that matter. We've gone it way too much and I just, I personally wasn't a fan. Maybe if you're a new fan, you might like it a little bit more, but I've been seeing this stuff for like years and years and years. And so I just kind of felt like it was pointless. There was no connection to the Civic Republic, which was such an easy connection to make. So for me, this one's number six. Number five, I would say is episode two. And really it's because this episode had so much potential. You're literally in Atlanta. Rick is in that hospital. You don't have to go see Rick. You don't have to do anything like that. I'm not saying that. But I think an episode focused on these two characters, one which, you know, doesn't really believe that the apocalypse is happening. And I thought it would have been kind of cool because maybe she's just sort of in denial. Like, no, everyone's overreacting. Everything's fine. Maybe we actually see people dying and stuff and she doesn't really believe it. And I, I thought that one shot where she sort of allows herself to get bit I honestly thought that was probably going to lead to her death and like she was just so sort of full of herself that everything was fine that it, it just led to her death in that way. I thought it would have been kind of cool to see Atlanta from a different perspective like this way when we watch you know season one or we see certain things like little do we know we have this other story because the thing is we've never really seen the downfall of Atlanta you know they jump over that with the walking dead. I thought this episode should have focused on that they mentioned the CDC. And I know you can't really do much with the CDC, but maybe you drive by the CDC instead of just mentioning it. I thought that would have been really cool. But again, there is a lot of disappointment here. The time loops here. I mean, this episode really doesn't feel canon at all. And you can't really say it is. Number four for me would be episode one. I actually, I thought this episode was decent. I thought it was just, I thought it honestly, it was just fine. A solid four to five to six out of 10. Honestly, yeah, I guess I would just go with a five out of 10. Like it was just, it just worked. It was an average episode. I thought the comedy worked. Sometimes it didn't work. Sometimes it felt refreshing. Sometimes it felt awkward. But I, I think overall it was fun to have Terry Crews and Olivia Munn there. And I just, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. But again, there was no connections to like, to Tyrese. There's no connections to Terminus. And it just, yeah. Number three for me would be episode five. I just really liked it. I, I love Jesse Usher. You know, I thought his performance here was just amazing. Out of all the characters here, besides Alpha, but I guess Alpha's dead, I hope we see him again. I honestly hope that we get to see him again, because this was such a fun episode. That character is is really great. Like, the atmosphere felt so perfect. It felt like, it just felt so different and unique. And that's what I really wanted with Tales of the Walking Dead, was episodes that felt like this. And we actually got that here, and I really enjoyed it. It was a fun murder mystery episode with the character actually surviving in the end. And I'm just, I hope we see him again. I really hope we see Devon again. And that, you know, he was going to Montreal and he has that PPP card. So is there a connection there with the Civic Republic? We'll have to wait and see. But I have some intrigue here with this episode. And the, and the character was a lot of fun. I would honestly like to see him in future Walking Dead content. Number two, I would say is episode three. Again, for pretty obvious reasons, Alpha came back. Alpha was, it, it, was, it was awesome to see this sort of backstory here. It wasn't the full backstory. Because obviously it ends and we see her get the Whisperer mask. And we know that she got it from Hera, who originally was, I guess, the leader of the Whisperers. But now I imagine in season two or three, we're going to see a lot more of that, of, of how she became the leader and just the stuff that came with that, which is fun. And I, I think for this one here, I think they got a lot out of, out, of, out of the story here. 
I, I thought it was really smart. It was kind of cool to see Alpha in a, in a more normal setting here. And yeah, I really liked this episode, as, as did a lot of people. Many people here were saying that this episode here shows the potential of Tales of the Walking Dead, and I totally agree. Now, my number one is episode six, and I know that probably won't be a lot of people's number ones, and that's totally fine. I just had so much fun with this episode because it, it was a haunting episode, and I, I love hauntings. I love ghost stories. It's it's fun. That's why I love playing Phasmophobia so much. Honestly, I love ghosts. It's just such a fun thing. I love the Halloween season. You know, I, I love The Conjuring. It's such a fun movie. I, I just thought this episode was really great. And I know overall with this series, there's a lower budget. But like I said in my review of this episode, I, I really felt like it actually fit here. The characters were so awesome. And I just, yeah, I would recommend this episode to a lot of people. It was just sort of a, it was, it was a fun episode. And again, I might be alone on that, but I, I actually really like that here. So this is my official ranking here of all the episodes here. I, I, I would like to know your guys' rankings. Definitely, if you have any rankings of all six episodes, post them all down below in, in the comment section. But yeah, Tales of the Walking Dead, you know, overall, I, I guess I would probably rate it like a five or six out of ten overall. You know, maybe I would lean more to a six. I think World Beyond, I rated like a four out of ten or something like that. Can't remember, but like I would rate this a little bit more. This is definitely, it's an all right series. And I think it's definitely worth binge watching for sure. Not watching week to week because I just think that it definitely hurts the viewing experience. You're, you're looking forward to an episode that's going to be so great. But now that all the content is out there on AMC Plus, definitely go check it out. And no, this is not sponsored by AMC Plus. I'm just saying you can go watch on AMC Plus all six episodes. And if you haven't watched Tales of the Walking Dead, now might be a good time to do it because you can literally binge watch it all in a few hours. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to leave it here. So definitely post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you do want more walk content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.